the more and more we go through these energy pockets and new moons and full moons and whatever else, we are getting closer and closer to living in our totality and our fullness. And even though there's a little bit of baggage that we've got to work through right now, that's okay because we really can see the finish line at the end. Or, or the, I'm not going to say the finish line because it's always infinite, this journey, right? It's ongoing. But the end, like closure to this era, let's say, of working with the old paradigm and coming into the new. So what does that mean? Old paradigm, body, mind, emotions, humanness, working from the head and endlessly clearing, endlessly healing, endlessly trying to find the answer, whatever the answer is. That's the old paradigm. The new paradigm is living in your light body. Everything's turned on, switched on, bright and powerful. Um, you can manifest, connect with all that you need to connect with like that. And you know, you really are in touch with your blueprint, which holds all of your ascended mastery, all your gifts, abilities, everything you came here with. And ultimately it holds your mission and purpose, which is the true reason you came here to live this life. So now all of a sudden it's like we're blowing the dust off the top of the plans and you can actually see your plans of you. Like, oh my God, I've got that going on. Oh God, look at that gift and ability. I didn't know I had that. And then let's fire up this light body being and let's do this shit, man. And it's exciting. However, here's the energy, here's the energy bit. However, as we all know, a week ago on the new moon, I actually held the sole purpose activation ceremony in person here with Toth and with Isis, amazing, powerful. But in the session, Horus, who is Isis's son, decided to make an appearance. And then two days after, he was still making an appearance with myself. And he's powerful hawk energy. And he was bringing through the message of authenticity, authenticity integrity, and basically judgment day. Um, and authenticity and integrity, that's basically the doorway to our union. Because, But if you want to surmise it, everything that needs to come in balance is a bit like balancing the books. You will not give your accounting books to your accountant half done because he's going to pass them back and say, sorry, bro, just finish those off and do them properly, please, and then submit them. So that's kind of where we are on our spiritual path right now, balancing the books. Going to call Ma'at in now. Ma'at is the one that looks like Isis. I will show my tattoo here. This lady here, she has a feather in her hair, whereas Isis has um, cow horns or a, a throne. This is the difference. This is Ma'at, still got these beautiful wings. She is the goddess of balance, justice, um, order, um, she is the cosmic truth. So she's the one that gets everything into alignment. And, and I kind of think in a way she's also at play here as well, because we've got to get all of our stuff right. We've got to get it all balanced. It's a bit like a game of Tetris, slotting it all in so we can all fit and then expand into a million stars. And then we get to move on. That's where we are right now. And moving on means moving into your light body, working with your blueprint your specific signature frequency, the trueness of who you are. You are not trauma, you are not pain, you are not drama, you are not low vibration, you are, you know, your, your love, your, your pure vibration. Love is the highest vibration you can be in. So when that vibration transcends into your life, that means you're working, like in every area, that means you're working from your light body being. Anything less than that, humanness. We want to be in our light body being with our humanness not just human. So you get you get where you've got to be going or you get where you've got to go to, you know? So this brings me to another energy pocket which is happening next week, Saturday. Next weekend is basically the full moon. So let me just surmise where we all are because this weekend has been super intense because we've had the equinox energies. And then last week, like I say, it was the new moon. So we had new moon, equinox energies, and now full moon. So right now we're sandwiched in a very intense pocket of energy which is all to do with this you know, a balancing of the books and, you know, kind of like bringing all parts of you into integrity and wholeness. Da, da, da. That's where we are. So we're in a sandwich right now. So we're going to build and it's going to be a bit intense throughout this week until we get to this weekend. The new moon is the full moon's going to come in, wash away all that stuff that's being brought up. So many people are sick at the moment. So many people are in a state of chaos and turmoil within their energy fields, whatever that might be showing up to them, you know, whether it's basically relationships, lack of money, scarcity, lack, you know, illness, whatever it might be. That's all the drama that needs to go. Because when you are operating from your light body being, when you are operating from your, um, you know, from your skill set, 
your, re your unique signature design. That's what you came here to, to do. It's what you came here to share with the world. That is the key to, to everything. So when we cross over to that, which is just now, some of us have really moved into it. Some of us are about to move into it. But when you're fully in that, that frequency and working from that place, then all of a sudden effort, everything's effortless and, and easeful because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for a career, getting paid lots of money for it. You know, you're, you're basically with the right partner. You, you, you know, you've, you're, you've got an environment that supports you. Everything is in flow. That is what we are all about. And it is attainable. I know a lot of people roll their eyes and go, yeah, okay, well, what planet are you on? I'm actually on planet Earth and I'm telling you that this is a reality because I have significantly, significantly moved into that place. Since I've got back from Egypt, I had a huge activation in this. Hence why I'm now sharing with you the soul purpose activations. They, as I say, were held in person in my home, but guess what? They are now online and it is coming at exactly the right time. If you are ready to flick the switch and step into this wholeness and get a big power surge into this light body way of living, then you need to attend the event on Saturday, Saturday the 27th at 5 p.m. Central African time, two hours to activate, connect with your guides, embody, 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 so you can unlock and then access. And this is what this work is all about. No more endlessly clearing or going over all the sludge and shit, all the bins and all their rubbish. No, it's done. There's nothing else for you to know there. What? But the only thing that you need to know right now is about the activation of where all your magic lies.